Hi folks, I'm back. There we go. One gram deck fully rebuilt. Everything's, well, not everything's been changed inside. The resistors are okay. I checked them uh, for, you know, the values or whatever, and they're okay. Some are slightly off in there, but you know what? It's working. All the caps have been changed except for one. There was one little silver capacitor in there, but uh, apparently those caps, they uh, known to stay in tolerance. They find those little caps. So now, as you can see, it's all in one unit now. I've got my um, 6AA battery pack in place on the back, and I used that uh, Scotch double-sided tape, and it worked wonders. I just put one little strip in, press the battery pack in position, done. That's it. So it's all enclosed. I've got one lead coming out, the uh, extension loudspeaker lead, which I'm not going to use unless I decide to plug it into my old radiogram when I fix the radiogram because it's got motor boating when you turn the volume up. So all the caps need doing on the old radiogram, Murphy one. And I'll just put a bit of heat shrink on these cables for now so it doesn't interfere with anything. Just that little braid, that's nothing. No big deal. So I should really just push this back in the machine and tie it up and just leave it in there. I don't know why I've got it hanging like that, but there we go. Um, what else? Right, the cable goes to my little Chinese amp and I've got those boxes covering the vent holes, but you know what, I don't really care. <laughs> it doesn't really use that much power, so oh, what the hell, I can't be bothered moving all those component boxes. So I've got it plugged into the amp, goes off via uh, a double phono cable because it's a stereo amp but I've got a combiner there so it combines the mono signal into splits into two uh, separate signals left and right so it feeds both channels now so that's it it works great so it's just playback off record radio mic so next test is take this off this cover take the amp out or just loosen the two screws and pass this cable and connect it to where the head on this Brunel connects to, if you see what I mean, yeah? And then plug the mic in, and if it records a signal onto that tape, then I know the amplifier is okay on this Brunel. And then it's something to do with the heads. Now these heads, very unusual, but they're not lined up correctly. Because when I play a tape, it's playing the opposite side, if you see what I mean. So the guy who had it before me, he didn't line the heads up correctly. So what I might do, I've got another head block for this. I might just take the head block out, it's easier. Just take it out, put a new head block in. And uh, if you get a head block from another Brunel, they're never normally messed about with. It's just bolt in, uh, solder the two wires up underneath, or the four wires for the raised head and the playback head. But I'm still gonna check the other one. I mean, as I said, if this records a signal onto this tape whilst it's plugged into the other amp, then I know the amplifier is all right. If it doesn't, then I don't know. I'll, I'll just uh, replace the head block on the other machine as well. I've got a couple of head blocks for these, so I'll change this one anyway, because it's playing the opposite side. Now look how it works. So uh, anyway, I've got the volume up, not too high, but it's playing the other side of the tape. There should be some uh, we call it, uh, what's that thing, harpsichord music on this somewhere, but it's not playing anything. It's playing, it's playing this. What's that fly? Get off, little fly's coming. Get lost. It's playing this. Can you hear that? No. Oh, there we go, there's the speaker. An old crappy plastic. Oh, is it wood? Technic speaker. It's crap. Now, if I turn over the tape, You'll probably play, see this is playing side two. This is playing the B side. It's not playing the right side. So these are lined up totally wrong. I might even try to realign them actually. If there's uh, any screws there, I might try to realign the tape. But you know what? I think I'll just take uh, take them out because it's all been messed, it's been messed about with big time. Look, but it just shows you how you can actually use one of these. A gram deck just to test out a what's that? Fucking hell. Oh, a pop. I know one of the resistors at the back, the um, there's a power resistor at the back, and when you put it on the lower speeds, it gets very hot, but that's normal. I keep checking it for any 
heat damage. I might even re replace it to be honest because it's quite an old uh, power, power resistor. No, I can't see at the moment, but no, it's not burning, it's not smoldering. I don't know, it's just it's okay, I guess. If it burns out, then it doesn't really do much damage. You just see it smoking a bit and uh, then the speeds won't work right so I'll just swap it out put another one in I've got a few of those anyway uh, I bought a few I bought about four of them because I know what I'm like with these Brunels I should really buy some more actually so I think what I'm going to do I'm going to try to record on this side plugged into here into the other Brunel into that machine this one all right and if I record if I can record a signal onto this tape then I know the amplifier is all right on the other machine yeah does that make any sense to you well, I hope it does because I'm getting a bit confused now again oh shit yeah yeah it should work it should work fine if it doesn't then I know well no as I say if it does record a signal then I know the amplifier is okay and then I know the problem lies either in the wiring underneath the deck where the heads connect to the tag board there's a wire loose or something like that. Or well, I need to replace the heads, the bogan heads, the German ones that normally go wrong. See, the playback side might be okay, but the record side maybe doesn't work. Maybe there's a fault in the inside the head. Uh, so I think there is two coils in there. There's a, uh, I looking at this one, you can actually see there's two coils. Where's that torch again? Oh God, hang on a minute. Bloody flashlight. I should always keep one next to me, you know. I don't know if you can see this right now this head shouldn't be like this it shouldn't be like this at all it should have a cover on it but look let me try to get near enough can you see a coil on that side there's a there is a coil there believe you me and when I move around on the other side there is another coil you won't see it from here but there's two coils so right so I reckon one of the coils on the other machine has gone and that's the record coil so I'm gonna leave you for now and I shall keep you informed now what's that the boilers coming on I'm too hot off oh, I wish I could control it with the Alexa bloody hell right so now I've got to find somewhere for this grand deck now I've got to place it somewhere else but the leads a bit short so I need to open this machine now anyway right I'll turn it off for a minute let's turn this off and always remember to turn this off if you leave it on playback you're gonna run the battery down so there we are off now, I'll tell you a story right I bought another one of these uh, pre-amplifier boxes and um, inside was an original ever ready from the 60s and here it is it's still got the wrapping on it half of it but well, still got the plastic wrapping on it now somebody left this on playback and it was probably a brand new battery and God knows how long it was on for but it still had uh, 3.6 volts in the battery so can you imagine if someone had switched it off that battery might have been still alright from the 60s unbelievable but there we go alright then so uh, I'm going to try this experiment now and I shall keep you informed I'm actually quite excited actually to see what's going to happen alright I'll talk to you all later bye for now